Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I got another story about your yes. boy. Uh, Jeffrey Di- uh, the, the Jesse Jeffrey uh, Jesse Young Smollett. Buck. Yeah, no. that, that's no. what I was thinking, honestly. But I, and I said Jeffrey, and then I was I gonna, gonna say, say Epstein. Yeah, I know. And then I was like, I could not, I can't say Epstein. I'll say Dahmer. And then I was like, no, Young Thug. No, this but, is a six nine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do yeah, you yeah. see this? Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty abreast of the news. Yeah, it's a shame, man. Like. And they had a whole video. <laughs> they had a whole video. <laughs> they did, though. They did have a like, whole so video. For those of you who don't know, I mean, we've talked about 6 a, a few different times. Like, he, he was a really bad rapper. Wait, wait, wait. We're not going to say that. He was not a bad rapper. Okay, what was he then? He's your boy? He was a niche rapper. I, I don't care what I'll anybody says. I'll take that. I'll, you know what? I'll take that. He was a niche rapper. He was a niche the rapper. The people who love him, love him. But a lot of people loved him. Yeah. Dummy Boy is still a great album. I don't care what nobody says. There's a lot of good tracks All on right. that one. Why don't you sing one? <laughs> 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 you want me to sing some yeah. dummy boy? Sing some dummy boy right now. You want me to sing some dummy boy? <laughs> yeah, do it. Uh, Lili, la la, Lulu, TT, Tata. There you go. See what I said? It's quality niche <laughs> rapping right there. So, anyways, so he was uh he he rode he rode with the tough crowd. He was out there with the gang bangers. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the worst story. Takashi Six Nine was rolling with the nine. What is it? Nine Trey? Trey? Yeah, yeah. I think it was Nine Trey Bloods. Yeah, Nine Trey Bloods. Trey Way. And, and uh, uh, then once money started running dry to some of the crew members or some of the other gang members, uh, they decided to kidnap him, uh, videotape themselves having sex with his fiance and threatening his life. Um, they beat him up. And then when things came abreast that they were all going to have to go to court, Six nine decided to snitch on the people who had done these things to him. I thought he was. I didn't. He 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 snitched on them on him. I thought he snitched on them like killing somebody. Oh, I don't know what he what he what he what information he gave up. But but yeah, he snitched on on the on the bloods. There was there was a murder on the table. Six nine obviously didn't have anything to do with the right. murder, murder because it's like why, but there was images of him doing other criminal activity. So he got <laughs> he got a sentence now to like two years versus I don't know life six, probably. He was looking at sixty nine years. Very funny and very. I applaud the judge for the, for for that decision yeah. to go with that. Well, yeah. So so then he snitches and then he gets out of jail. And of course, like if you're yeah. in the gang lifestyle and you snitch, you're basically dead to everyone. Yeah. on site and it was interesting because i think didn't i say something to you maybe like within a month ago to be like what's six nine up to i'm surprised somebody has to try to kill him yet so, so since he well his, his initial single that came out when he got out went really big it had Nicki minaj she was all uh scandalously clad in the video i highly suggest you look at it it's a funny video it even uh has a cartoon rat in it since then he's done a lot of uh what do you call that? Like uh, Latin songs? Because he oh, has, like Bad Bunny. Yeah, yeah, similar to that, but still like reggaeton. Rap, still like rap stuff, I guess. But uh, yeah, most of his stuff is in Spanish anymore. He performs for a lot of Spanish listeners. They they accept. They don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyways, so just the other day, he went to the gym by himself went without his security. Went to an LA Fitness. And two two or three dudes beat the shit out of him in the bathroom. Yeah, I saw And they, like, world start it with a cell phone, essentially. So I was watching uh, I was watching a little DJ Academics, and it turns out that the uh, the guy who was standing over him yelling at him, the one that you could see. Like the big dude. One of them was really big. Yeah, 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 yeah. It turns out that he's a Latin king. Um I saw a lot of uh, his like uh, his Facebook image, not his Facebook images, but like uh, his Instagram and stuff. And it turns out that it was pretty, pretty sure he was, it was something, something Guzman, I think, too, was his name. But yeah, he's a big dude, Latin King, probably, you know, realized, hey, he's a snitch. Six nine is not afraid to talk shit, especially. Come on, you're in a you're in a gym. You're going to attack me in a gym? <laughs> I'm sure as hell they did. They, they beat the shit out of him. They literally have all your information at the front desk. That's like the 
dumbest. Thing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it, yeah. It's it's like it's like uh, yeah. It's like beat somebody up on an airplane. Yeah. Like like yeah. yeah like they know who you are. Yeah. They know you're there. You checked in at the front counter, exactly. bro. Exactly. You're not getting away. You're not getting away. But I guess to him it was more important to make a point than to because he. Oh. I'm sure he's like I'm going to jail for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me beat up the guy that's known for snitching. What the fuck? <laughs> well, and, but I mean, they recorded thing. it, dude. They were like that too. And then, and then you see the one with it was like the fan video, and he six nine got up and was walking and stuff. And he's like, "I'm a fan, bro. I'm a fan." Yeah. And I'm like, like this dude like, gives a shit if you're a fan bro, or not. You're not a fan. You just let me get my ass whooped. Yeah, and that's I think that, that's what he said to him. I think too. Is there any is there any celebrity that if you saw them getting their <laughs> ass beat, you would jump in? I don't know any of them. No, what do you mean you don't know any of them? I ain't gonna jump in if a stranger was getting their ass beat. Really? I would be more apt to call yeah. the cops okay. than okay. I would be to like try to intervene. Okay, hold hold on then. Let let's go through let's go through a tier list real quick. Three guys are just like wailing on your mom. Oh. God, I hope that never happens. I know you're jumping in. Yeah, I mean, at least trying to get him off, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. tap him on the shoulder. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you get off my mother? <laughs> Excuse me, sir, is the wildest approach <laughs> I've ever heard in like, my life. Tap, tap, tap. Excuse me, dog. Yeah. That's my mom. <laughs> Excuse me, dog. Yo, I'm going to tell you right now is that me and my mom getting our asses beat that day, or I'm winning. That's the only option. All right, so, but I feel you. You you you're gonna do something. Yeah, well, yeah. Like anybody at that level in my life, okay. right? Like, if yeah. I were getting my ass beat, I would assume that you would try to intervene. Probably more than my mom. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, that's I appreciate it. Totally. No, man, Thank any, you? If, I feel like if three dudes were beating up a sixty-some-year-old lady, that more than just me is jumping in on that. <laughs> Like, I, if true. I saw a 67-year-old lady getting beat up in the street, I probably would, like, step in anyway. Okay, because, like, okay. That, so that's, that's that's even better. That's for the next place I was going to the tier. So if it's your mom, definitely jumping in. Yeah, 100%. my homie. Yeah. If it's, if it's me, definitely going to try to do something. If it's an old lady on the street, you definitely going to do something. Yeah, and, by, like, and bystander effect is going to get other people to help you out. Yeah, if, if I'm not trying to fight them, I'm at least trying to get them to stop. Like, yeah. pushing them off, be like, yo, get the hell out, you know, like. Okay, so it's the same three guys, not nondescript race, and it's a 33-year-old woman. Are you, are you helping? Man, it probably. Okay, like, if it's. Just a, because, because, like, why should, why are three dudes beating up a woman? I agree. I agree. Or I agree. It's, we're going to keep with the same trend, okay? Three guys, they're beating up a 16-year-old kid. Are you jumping in? Oof. And, and this is all, I, I, would, I would want to. Okay. He, <laughs> the fact that it's a question he, is kind of still kind of like, wild. I, I, I mean, I, and I'm sure you have you ever seen a fight and not jumped in? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've seen a couple that I have jumped in. Like not just trying like to a, break it up, like yo 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 yo, like that, like yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. I mean, I mean but I'm you're also piece, like, I'm you and I. I mean, you and I both are not like small people. Like if I was like five five two, like a buck fifty, and was like, hey guys, stop this. Hey. But if like like being like a larger statured person, be like, hey yo, like, uh, are you jumping in to save that sixteen year old boy? I already figure if it's a girl, you're gonna jump. Yeah, in. I probably, man. Okay. Because if it's, if it's grown ass men, yeah, 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 trying to, you know, it's like, I, okay, I feel you. Okay, so you're gonna save the 16 year old boy. All right, what about a? Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, we're just going down the line. I don't. Okay. I mean... Okay. So what if it was <laughs> Tom Hanks? <laughs> For some reason, you think I love Tom Hanks. <laughs> I know you like Tom Hanks, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I don't know why. <laughs> I'd be like, Tom, can I get your autograph? What if Tom Hanks, your mentor, My mentor. <laughs> was getting this ass beat by, by three dudes? Are you helping Tom? I think anyone who's getting attacked three to one, I would try to like stop it at least. Even if it was, if, even if a person the exact same age as me and everyone else was all the same age and anyone's getting beat up three to one, yeah. at the very least, I'm like, 
yo, like I'd be screaming something to stop, like you okay. know. Okay, so really, it's just okay. We will have to revisit this. Maybe it's the size. of What the about crowd. you? If you see anyone getting beat up three to one, are you trying to like be like, hey, you should stop doing that? Uh, yeah. Unless it was like, okay, unless I, I deserved it. <laughs> unless, yeah. Well, honestly, like it depends on what the other person is. Well, done. if he just slaps his girl and then. 12 dudes go beat the crap out of him. Bro. I mean, you, you you just earned that. Yeah, exactly. I'd be seeing wild videos of, of people who try to, like, assault kids or women and then, like... Yeah. Five guys beat the crap out of them? Like, yeah. oh, imagine all of her brothers came and beat your head. <laughs> your dumbass fault. Should have checked that before you uh, decided to do what you yeah, do. Yeah, if it's anyone just... Or even just somebody who gets sucker punched. Like, you know, yeah. somebody comes up and just punches them from the side. Like, yeah, man... That's some really right. shady ass shit, dude. People are wild out there. <laughs> Anyways, six nine, get recovered, buddy. Yeah, jump in on the next fight you see. <laughs> mind, mind everyone else's business, please. <laughs> Go to thecrazytown.com to subscribe for Jonas. TNT. We out.